Hi Rufam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be doing Majke, Uli and Ragi Mudde. So we have to uh, boil the onion in the flame like this for this recipe. So we will continue with the next steps going ahead. So we have to put uh, one spoon kadle bele. It is also called Bengal gram dal. Bengal gram dal with some rice. rice. Uh, raw rice, one spoon. So both of them we have to fry right. in the oil. Not oil. Without oil? Without oil. You have to, so once the oil, uh, sorry, onion is boiled in the flame, it looks like this. And then you have to have some grated coconut. And then this is the sambar masala. I will be dropping the sambar masala recipe in one of my uh, YouTube videos. So stay tuned. Coconut. So basically you have to fry well until it turns brown. Huh? Brown of the car. No. no. So we're gonna mix all of these ingredients into a plate. So we have to add all these ingredients that we fried uh, into the mixer grinder and we have to grind it very well. Fine paste. Oh. Fine paste at the car. Asphodita, little a tinge of asphodita into the oil and some uh, sesame mustard seeds, seeds, mustard seeds, sorry, and some uh, black gram dal or urad dal, little bit, and then we're gonna put these ingredients that is onion, curry leaf, and some green chilies. We're gonna prepare majge uli in my ancestor side type of uh, recipe that I will be sharing. And my mom prepares it very, very yummy. So we are just waiting for the pan and the oil to, um, you know, for the urad dal to become a little more brown before we add in the curry leaves, the onion and the green chilies. So you have to finely chop the onion or medium sized chop and fry all of these ingredients. Now we're going to add a pinch of turmeric powder. We are using MTR turmeric powder. You can use the same if you want or any other brand. So we're going to fry all these ingredients very well in the oil with the turmeric powder. These onions should get little deep brown, not too much, you should not fry it too much. So now we're going to add the mixer paste that we grinded and we have to fry it well in the oil. Now in the meantime we have to take off the excess with the extra water and put it inside the mixer blender. Then pour to this masala. Then we have to pour it into this frying masala. So basically this Majke Uli is my ancestral recipe uh, and who thought you made? Mom. So for my mom, her mom thought this and we are gonna eat this with uh, ragi balls. So I will share my ragi ball recipe that I will be preparing today. Stay tuned. 
So in another vessel, what we will do is we will prepare buttermilk uh, with um, curd and you know water and salt, nothing else. So this mixture, you can see the consistency of this mixture. It should be exactly of this amount of consistency. If you want it thicker, you can make it thicker as well. So this is the buttermilk that we will be using. And now what we will do is we will shift all these ingredients that we cooked in the pan into this buttermilk. <coughs> so into this buttermilk we're gonna pour all of these ingredients. <coughs> and it is called majge uli saru. Huh? Majge uli, not it saru. is called majge uli, uh, which is which we we can eat it with. Uh, we have to let this entire recipe boil well in um, <coughs> along with the buttermilk. So we are on the medium flame, as you guys can already see, and we're gonna boil this recipe very well. So salt. You guys can add salt according to taste. This should boil, get boiled very well. And once it gets boiled, it's all ready. You have to boil it for how long? Boil like a Okay. Until you get bubbles on this, you need to keep boiling this ingredients. And we will eat this with with ragi bowl. We're gonna add salt into this. So we will be adding salt into this mixture according to taste. So you can taste it every um, time before you add salt and you can eat this with ragi mutte. Also eat this recipe. You can also try this uh, recipe with rice, cooked rice and also with ragi ball. So this is a very good dish for lunch. You can try it. For uh, aluminium bezel, what we are going to add is, first we will add one cup of water. So we are preparing ragi ball. So we will add one cup of water and you can also add a tinge of salt, not more than that, just a tinge of salt. And next what we are going to add is one tablespoon of oil. Hmm. So we have to add one tablespoon of oil so that when you do a ragi mudde it should not get um, you know, there should not be any not kind of lumps. Okay? Then you have to add some cooked Hello. rice. Okay? So you can add uh, how much of a quantity that you need uh, for the cooked rice. Okay? So we're going to add cooked rice. And you can add more water according to how many um, uh, ragi balls you want to prepare. So I'm going to prepare two ragi balls. So I'm going to just add one cup of water. If you want, you can add one and a half as well. So these ingredients that you so all these ingredients that you have added should get boiled very well uh, in the water in a medium to high flame. So let this ingredients get boiled. After which you will then be adding the ragi flour if you have a ragi flour. That's great. So add a um, good amount or quantity of ragi flour. I'll let you know how much it is. The ragi flour that I'm using is from Shivananda stores. It is available in Bangalore, Kumara Park West, Hare Krishna Road. So you can purchase this ragi flour because we believe the rice flour, the ragi flour in this uh, particular brand is really good. It looks like this is uh, boiling, the water is boiling and I think it's almost ready. So what we're going to do right now is we will add one to two cups of ragi flour and let the whole thing get boiled okay so i'm gonna add some more ragi flour so i think two cups another one more cup of ragi flour and let me done okay so let all of these ingredients again boil for another 10 minutes so see you back in 10 minutes Eat Looks like the ragi is almost ready. So what we will do now is we have to mix this entire thing very well.
मार्क कर चेक कर सो यू हैव टू लेट दिस बॉइल फॉर सम टाइम सो अनदर 10 मिनट्स यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लोज अ लिड सो नाउ व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी गोना मेक इट इनटू अ राउंड बॉल So now we're gonna make it into a fine round bowl. We we are taking the help of water. You can also do it with oil, but my mom is doing it with water. It will become a nice and round bowl. And then we're gonna add ghee into this. There you go. So it is ready. So we're gonna add that boiled uh, recipe that I shared, and we're gonna eat it along with some pickle and uh, ragi ball, and we're gonna add some ghee into this. So how are you going to add the? Ghee? So we have to make a vessel like this, a little compartment, and then put the ghee, and all of these is ready to eat. You can add salt according to taste. Bye, Ru fam. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon and like this video if you like it and share with your friends and family.